Today I thought I would do a couple things, a bit of a post-mortem on my design challenge with World Killer now that I've played the game a lot, and also a discussion on minis versus counters. I got into like the meat of the redesign, which was wouldn't this be cool if it was a minis game? So I designed every single ship for the game, I printed out stat dial standees. I had these little toggle switches uh, that you could flip if your ship had moved that turn or not. So I also uh, made this bigger hex map that would give uh, the minis more more space. And then uh, and then I played it. I started playing it a lot. And I think what I what I realized was that the the minis kind of were fidgety and kind of clunky themselves. If I had a battle going on between several minis, air sections of the board would get extremely crowded with minis. So then I started questioning the whole concept of using minis. And at first I was like, well, maybe I could make the standees smaller. The first version of the standees were kind of big and clunky. And I started prototyping like smaller versions of the standees. And this one uses a small fraction of the plastic that this one used and it's just a lot lighter weight. In order to turn the dial, you pretty much have to pick the standee up, turn the dial, set the standee back down. It takes two hands to do it. At the end of the day, I decided that the miniatures version of the game is just as fidgety. What if the stat dials, the update automatically uh, were just flat and you could embed the counter directly into them? And that was an interesting idea. I never printed out stickers for this either because as I was like working on prototypes for these flat stat dials with embedded counters, I decided to start playing uh, the game on this big map with the old 5 8 inch counters um, from, from my very first iteration of the design. And after several playthroughs, I decided that my favorite version of the game from the original to my first redesign to the minis and the standees to this, my favorite version of all of these was actually this. I loved playing with the 5 8 inch counters on this larger hex map. And then regarding the bookkeeping, another thing I realized was that after I played the game over a dozen times on this bigger map with more breathing room, the bookkeeping got easier and easier. You know, you have to build new neuropaths in your brain to play a new game. I think it's easy for me to play a game once or twice and then draw these premature conclusions about what's right and wrong with a game. But there are some fundamental drawbacks of minis, one of which is you cannot stack minis. So in the original game, multiple ships can occupy the same cube of space. Uh, that's not possible with minis. You can't stack multiple minis in one hex. And another limitation of minis is that you can't use Fog of War. Uh, there's I've been playing Space Empires 4X recently and having a blast with that. And one of the main game mechanics is that you, you know, you can flip your counters over so that they are anonymous. That's kind of impossible to do <laughs> with minis. And also, I like the fact that you can, like in Space Empires 4X, I tend to rotate my counters 90 degrees after I've moved them. It's just like a little, it's a little way to do some simple bookkeeping. So with counters, you can, you can rotate the counter 90, 180, 270 degrees. You can flip the counter over, you can stack counters. There, and you can put a lot, you can actually put a lot of information on a counter. You can have, you know, you can comfortably have like four different stats on each side of the counter. And in your counter can have two states. Like, you know, the front side could be one state. The back side of the counter could be a different state, whether that's, you know, active versus moved, whether that's ready versus damaged or whether that's like hidden versus revealed. Probably the biggest and most obvious advantage to counters is that they just take up way less space. I mean, this little baggie represents, you know, dozens and dozens of warships and damage markers. Also, these counters are exponentially cheaper and quicker to produce. 
And, and now I'm kind of back to thinking that counters are really kind of the superior game component, at least for the type of gaming that, that I enjoy. Probably the best thing that came out of my exploration of World Killer that led me to Space Empires 4X, and I really enjoyed getting to learn this game. I ended up building my own version of the Doomsday Machine scenario. I made a custom map for it, and I've played the Doomsday Machine scenario about 10 times now. I'm comfortably winning on normal mode, and I'm about ready to level up to hard mode. After four games or so, I thought I was figuring out the strategy and I even made a post about strategy with uh, with Doomsday Machine but I think I just got lucky that game because I tried that same strategy several more times and it just it didn't work I ended up employing other strategies there was one game where all I did was buy cruisers not even battle cruisers but just cruisers and I had like 15 cruisers against I think the third Doomsday Machine on normal mode and that was pretty effective uh, so you know i've had games where i've built up battle cruisers and even battleships i've had games where i just buy like a ton of cheap ships um, there was one game where i got lucky and i was able to terraform a bunch of barren planets there are other games where i, I spent an enormous amount of time in, in deep space dying but not really accomplishing much so this game is just packed with so many different strategies and so many different things you can try. And there's like every single ship type is like a tool in your tool belt. It's hard to imagine ever playing World Killer again now that I'm into a game uh, with this level of depth and complexity. Now the biggest challenge with games like this is that there are a lot of counters. The counters are awesome and they do a lot of things, but there's just a lot of counter management. So I think the secret to, to maximizing my enjoyment with a game like this is to figure out storage solutions for counters. Now I've never bought a war counter tray. I, I've seen the GMT sells trays for war counters and it, it seems like a great way to go. So I started like prototyping my own counter storage solutions. This was the very first prototype I did and it basically just holds like, like little stacks of 10 counters in each slot. And this was okay. I still needed to come up with a lid. Uh, if the counters fell this way, they were almost impossible to get out of the tray without dumping the whole thing. So this was kind of a failed experiment, but for some reason I kept going with it <laughs> and I built this larger one and this pretty much will hold like, like all of those. And then I was trying to come up with these like clever, clever latchy lids and it just, um, it, it like sort of worked. And then I came up with, um, with this more compact version and and how these work is I made I made these rounded. These are like little half pipes. <laughs> and so you can just kind of roll the counters out. I printed this at a pretty rough resolution, so these these rounded corners are are, are pretty jagged. But uh but it works it works pretty well and you can basically like subdivide the counters into like groups of 25 or so. You can fit about 25 counters into each one of these troughs and they slide out easily. And I decided that like 25 is kind of a good, a good number of counters to organize by. Like I can put all of my sector counters in here. I can put some of my ships in here. I tried these larger troughs that are like two counters wide and you know there's probably 50 counters right here but this starts to get a little messy i think i like the single troughs better that hold about 25 each but I, I didn't really finish that one and then this is kind of my final design although i think i'll go with single troughs it's five single troughs instead of like the bigger troughs but so this is an entire fleet for space empires 4x and I finally made a final version of the lid that just snaps on and it actually stays. It works pretty well. You can pull it off with one hand. So I think this is like my final counter storage solution I'm going to go with, except for maybe like five single troughs instead of like the two double troughs. The, the lid is like one millimeter thick, so it's a nice small lid. If I iterate on this design at all, I might just make it so the lid can snap onto the base. Um, so that I don't have a bunch of loose lids floating around. It'll all just sort of be self-contained. 
I've played a lot of Doomsday Machine, and now I'm reading the rules for the other solitaire scenario in the base rule set called Alien Empire. That rule set requires at least two more fleets to use as the alien fleets. So since I'm still waiting on my fourth printing and probably will be for another 30 to 60 days, I went ahead and designed a red fleet and a yellow fleet. The ship art is different on these fleets than it is on the blue fleet because I just wanted them to feel like aliens. And the other thing I did was create a custom map for Alien Empire. And I went ahead and included all of the necessary tables for the Alien Empire scenario. So it's kind of done in the same style as the Doomsday Machine, but it's very it's specific to the Alien Empire. So you've got your entry points for the three different alien civilizations. You've got your home world. I went ahead and marked the home world with, with the starting units. And I got rid of the turn track because that was only relevant for the Doomsday Machine. So I'm really looking forward to diving into Alien Empire. I also noticed some typos and printing errors on my original counters that I printed. So I went ahead and updated those. So this is my like second iteration on the Blue Army and I fixed some of the typos. And second iteration on on the deep space markers. So all I have to do is cut these counters out and I need to print up some more storage trays for my armies and I'm gonna dive in and play some Alien Empire. 